Hey everyone, this is another rap demo of Superbase and this time I promise it's going to be much faster than last time, mainly because we didn't ship as many features. Last time of course we had launch week, so we shipped uh, I think eight different things and we spent most of this month documenting up what we had already shipped and fixing bugs and generally tending to the community. So. Uh, before I get into the demo, uh, we are now hiring uh, at Superbase, so if you are interested in applying for a role, uh, please check out our docs, come to our docs, and then jobs at the top. After you come here, you'll see that we've listed six roles, and uh, especially if you love remote work, we're 100% remote, and if you love open source, then please do apply. Um, and even if you don't fit one of these roles, just apply anyway, because um, we're really uh, just looking for great people who uh, will fit into the team. And uh, if you don't apply, well, uh, never try, never know. So check it out in the docs once again, and come to jobs. Okay, so, Let's move on to the main feature that we're shipping this month, which is uh, light mode. Uh, finally, after a year or so, we have uh, shipped light mode. It's uh, taken this time just because uh, there hasn't been a huge demand for it, to be honest. But there are some people who really need it um, for accessibility and probably people working on a beach, a sunny beach. But uh, if you come to preferences uh, and then choose the, um, you can change between different themes, uh, light or dark, who knows, maybe there'll be a few extra themes in the future. And it's just worth pointing out, there are still a few bugs. For example, if you go to the API docs inside your project, um, they're still in dark mode. Don't worry, we're aware of the things that we still need to convert to light mode, uh, but we'll do it incrementally. So yeah, once again, come to account in your dashboard, account, preferences, and then choose the theme you want. I'm going to leave it dark mode for the rest of this, and probably for all the rest of my uh, demonstrations, but if you're a light mode user, uh, go for your life. Okay, so um, that's all for the features. Now I'm going to do a spotlight on just a few things that happened this month. First of all, we grew an insane amount and this happened basically because we got it on github trending um, a couple of times actually we were actually number one uh, here we are number four right now we we're number one yesterday and we've been on there for three days to be honest i don't know what the algorithm is for getting on uh, github trending it seems to be some sort of traffic to your repo uh, maybe some stars but whatever's happening, whoever's spreading the word, uh, please keep doing it because uh, it seems to be working. We really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we actually grew around 60% across all of our repos. Uh, this is actually just our main repo, but if you look at all of our repos, uh, yeah, our real-time server did very well. Our UI library grew 175%. So across the board, um, whoever's doing the sharing, uh, thank you, and uh, please apply for some swag because uh, you're doing a great job. Okay, the next thing is that we have started translating our readme. In fact, not even us, the community have. We put an issue, we've pinned an issue to our main repo. If you come to GitHub, Superbase, Superbase, um, you come into issues and you look at the pinned issue. There is one that we opened three days ago, um, which is just to translate the repo. Now, if you go to the bottom, you'll see we've already had around 15 translations and we'd love more and we'd love uh, any improvements to the current ones. And even if you don't know how to contribute, but you just want to share in your native language, please do go and share um, one of these readmes. Um, if you're Japanese, for example, and you want to share the Japanese readme, please do. We'd love to know where um, we can accumulate uh, basically uh, more more contributors, uh, anyone who's willing to help out. So anyone who's sharing basically is really helping a lot because uh, we're seeing a huge amount of new contributors come in and this can just really speed up our development. Great. Okay, so two things that I want to show off this month not built by the Superbase team. And this is, once again, why sharing is, is important. The first one is this repo. I'm going to put a link to it in the uh, description. So you can see it's basically a full threaded um, threaded comments. I'm going to show you how it works. Here you can see I've actually written some comments. I could write another comment here. I can switch between light and dark mode. Um, I can upvote, I can downvote, I can reply, and it basically functions like Reddit. But in the back end, it's all built with Postgres using recursion, actually, something called recursive CTEs. Now, that might sound advanced. 
it's not it, well it's relatively advanced but luckily Lawrence has done all the work for you and all you need to do is click this button instant deploy and that will deploy the front end to Vercel and the back end to Superbase and uh, in fact if I come here and I just refresh so it's in dark mode you'll see that all those comments that I had posted are here in a single table. Then it uses recursion to actually build a graph of all of these. So it's very cool. Please check it out. Give the repo a star and a share, fork it, contribute to it. If you want to build comments into your own blog, use this as a starter. It's an amazing repo. Okay, the next one is actually this one by uh, Mark Bergraff, and he has built basically what looks like Dino <laughs> inside Postgres. So if you wanted to import libraries uh, from the web uh, inside Postgres using, well, I'll show you. Uh, first of all, I'll show you how it, how it works. I'll jump back into this um, here. I've actually installed it. It's called Superscript. I've installed it and I'm going to create a function, a, a, a database function called users this week. And this is going to return all of the users who have logged in this week. Um, but I'm going to write it in JavaScript. So here I'm going to create a database function and use language plv8. Um, this is pl as procedural language and v8 is the engine, the v8 uh, JavaScript engine. Then he has actually written a few functions. Require um, is, uh, is going to import from the web. Um, here I'm importing moment.js. Then he's written another function um, called SQL, SQL. So I'm going to use both of these functions within this uh, Postgres function. And I can write this. It should all look like JavaScript to you. So just to step through it, here I'm impor importing moment from the web. Then uh, I am uh, creating a const called last week, which is taking moment, which is just now, minus seven days. So seven days previous. Then I'm going to write a query, uh, which is just a string, but it takes a parameter, $1 means parameter. Then finally, I've got the SQL, which is actually just a, a function that he's written, and I'm going to run the SQL. So this will create the function. Then I can actually run the function here, select users, and I'm going to convert it to JSONB. And you can see it is going to return an array of users. And this is actually, if I have already spread it out here, is a single user that is me. So it's only got one user here, but it's an array. And it is all written in JavaScript, which is very cool. So uh, if you're not too familiar with uh, Postgres or procedural uh, uh, PL uh, SQL, then you can use JavaScript inside your functions and your triggers. So to get started with that, just I'll drop a link in the description below. There is an installation script that you can run on your Superbase um, database. And uh, from there, you can yeah read the docs. It's actually very well documented. Cool. Okay, so that's all for this month. Enjoy, and we'll see you again next month.